Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of The More You Neuro. Today we are talking about sleep and memory consolidation. Jimmy and Susie both have their neuroscience final today. Last night, Jimmy studied all night and did not get any sleep. Susie studied for a few hours and then slept for six hours. Which student do you think will do better on the exam? Often, students think that last minute cramming the entire night before an exam is the way to go. However, we're here to show you why sleep helps memory consolidation and therefore would help you do better on an exam. First, memory consolidation improves recall, not only recognition. Recall of information requires retrieving the knowledge from memory. Recognition of information is similar to recognizing someone on the street. You don't have to remember the information until you actually see it in front of you. So whether Jimmy and Susie's final is a short answer exam or a multiple choice exam, the fact that Susie got more sleep will help either way. Memories consolidated after sleep are also more resistant to interference. So when Susie is at breakfast with her friends and they're talking about a concept from a different neuro class, it is easier for her to categorize this as different from the information that she studied. This similar information will not confuse her right before the exam because she slept last night. If Jimmy were listening in on this conversation, he would be more susceptible to interference, having a negative effect on his memory. It would be much easier for him to confuse this with similar information and it could change his organization of topics into incorrect knowledge. So does more sleep have a positive impact on everyone's learning? Not necessarily. Memory consolidation has been found to be most effective when students either know they will receive reward for learning information or know they will be tested later on. So in both Susie and Jimmy's case, knowing they have an exam the next day would improve their memory consolidation, and getting a good grade could be viewed as their reward. But how exactly does this work? One theory involves slow wave sleep. When we sleep, there are four phases of the sleep cycle, but the most important to memory consolidation appears to be the third stage, slow wave sleep. During slow wave sleep, brain and muscle activity are pretty low. If someone were to call you, you would sound groggy and they would be able to tell you were just asleep. It is during this stage where we believe you to help turn short-term memory to long-term and strengthen those memories. In order to do this, however, low levels of a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine are present. Acetylcholine is essentially a chemical that neurons use to transmit signals to one another. It is believed that when there are low levels of ACH, which happens during slow wave sleep, we are able to replay new memories and strengthen them. Another popular theory among scientists is that when we sleep, our brain isn't working as hard so it can have a chance to rest. During the day, our neurons are always firing and working to create memories and to make decisions and to basically help us be who we are. When we sleep, however, the decrease in activity allows a balance to be reset and the connections formed during the day to stabilize, thus strengthening what we learned when we were awake. Despite differing opinions on how exactly memory consolidation works when we sleep, one thing is for sure, a good night's sleep never hurts. Oh Synapse, that's all the time we have for today. Remember, if what we talked about didn't make sense, sleep on it. And tune in next week when we talk about artificial intelligence and how your toaster might actually take over the world.